Hi guys, we're back here at Core Excellence, uh, Coach Don White, Coach Rich Saw. We're just going to address something that some of our cyclists have been asking because they don't know what to do in season. So we want to keep it simple, we want to stress the flexibility, we want to keep the mobility there. Uh, and just some very light activation there because there's already enough volume that you're doing on the bikes. So we just want to keep you healthy so that you can keep going on the bike. Okay, so obviously most of, one of the more important things, we're going to start with the foam rolling. Notice Rich. He's got a little more aggressive foam roller here. We have the regular foam roller over here. Here we brought in a PVC pipe. We wrapped it with some uh, hockey tape because especially for the calves, it gets in there a little bit deeper. So Rich is a glutton for punishment. He'll go right for the PVC. All right, so he's gonna get into the calves. Okay, you can do it both legs. You can cross one leg over the other. If you can handle it, make sure you get all three angles of the calves. We're gonna go down straight. We're gonna turn it in and we're gonna turn it to the outside. Okay. You want to, you notice Rich has one foot down, if you want to get in there even more, you cross one foot over the other, you can get into the calves a little deeper, if that's an issue. Alright, he's going to go up to the glutes, get into the buttocks area. Alright, so you notice you want to get the whole thing, so we're going to go right from here up into the glute meets, all the way down, getting all of the glute max, back and forth, especially with the PVC, you get in there pretty good. Great for after some of those hill points. Rich is going to get into the hamstrings. There's your pull face. Gonna get into the groin, especially for those that, uh, I know there's still two schools of thought. Some people draw their knees in, some people just need them where they are. If you're drawing them in, you might get a little more adductor strength. So we're gonna get in there and work on that. T-spine. So the upper back, very important to hug yourself just to protect the spine because actually you want to get the muscles that run along the spine and not the spine itself. So he's going back and forth. Now he'll get into some extensions just to increase the mobility of his upper back because you're in that position so long. Notice how he has the hands where the temples are, on the forehead and he's rocking back and he's going almost vertebrae by vertebrae just to get a little mobility in his upper back. Going into the lats. Again, from holding in that position a long time, we do stiffen up in this area also. So he's just rolling all the way. Make sure you're getting the entire lap all the way up and all the way down. We're gonna get the quads in front of the legs, obviously. You notice he moves right at the end of the roller, just so you can get right up into the high hip flexors. We say it's right at the insertion of the psoas. Get the rectus for Morris, he's going to get the quads, he's going to turn a little bit on the outside, laterals, and get the IT band which runs down the side. So remember, we're going to do both legs on that. So one of your best stretches, we're going to do a revised Thomas stretch. So you notice how he's going to use the bench, he's going to hook the foot in, have, this, have a seat, he's going to pull the knee up, so this way, keep a nice neutral spine as he goes back and down. Keeping this heel down, he's going to try to drive this heel down, get a good stretch down into the hip flexors here. And keeping that knee up there so that's going to his lower back. Alright, he's going to hold that. And then he'll get to the other leg. He's going to get into a quad stretch, so we're going to do it from a kneeling position. Keep that foot up there, so the Thomas stretch you might feel a little higher up. This one you might find a little lower down. Always keeping the abdominals braced. You don't have to do a pelvic tilt, but keep the abdominals braced so this moves your lower back. All right, so just a little hip, hinge the hip, move it forward and release. That's what he's trying to do right there. We're gonna do a little AIS stretch, so an active isolated stretch for the calves. So what Rich is gonna do, you could use a towel. We have a stretching cord. Uh, he's gonna get into a good stretch. Then he's gonna push it all the way up and then he's gonna release it back down into the stretch. It gets deep in there, you're, you're gonna feel that. This is one of my most hated stretches, but you'll love it because you need it more than I do. Actually, we all need it. There you go. So remember again, make sure you're doing both legs. A little dynamic warm up. He's gonna do what you call this, the lunge, the elbow to the instep. So he's pushing down, so he's lunging forward, he's bringing his elbow to the same side ankle, always pushing back with this leg here to keep this a straight leg. So you might feel it in the groin, you might feel it under here, you might feel it in the hip flexor of the non-supporting leg. There. Always making sure this back leg stays straight. 
for the shoulder area, we're going to get into a yoga table. Notice how Rich is going to draw up the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades back, and then he's going to draw up. So you should feel a good stretch in the delts down along the biceps, making sure that as you come up, the head stays in line with the spine. So now you see, as we say, perfect yoga table. You're driving his heels into the floor, activate the glutes. There you go. He's going to get into some scapular push-ups now. This is an area that generally gets stiff for most cyclists because of the position that you're staying in. So we let it collapse completely between the shoulder blades and we come up so we get a nice flat surface here. You should call these scap tables actually because when you come up it's nice and flat as a table. So now just to do a little bit of activation and some work just to get the right muscles firing. So this is all stuff you can do before you ride. All right, We're going to go into a hip lift. So. What he's doing here, he's putting pressure here because he's activating the, the abs on this uh, with the abs. So this way won't go into his lower back as he gets up into a hip extension. All right, so he's driving up. So he's digging that right heel into the ground, get the glutes firing. So just make sure the right muscles are firing for a hip extension. And Lord knows that's what you're doing, a lot of hip extension. He's gonna move back, get some T-spine activation there with the wall slides. We're gonna do it from a seated position. Always ensuring, so his head is there, his butt is right against the wall, his shoulders are back, elbows stay against the wall, and the wrists stay against the wall. This is probably one of the most humbling exercises, but it's one most of us need the most, just to get that posture working well in the upper back. Just to keep the back working, lower back nice and strong, we're going to get into some prone back extensions, and we're going to bring the hands around and do a little external rotation, just again, squeeze into the back of the scaps, the feet are up, the glutes are flexed and tense. So here we're activating everything, feet up, get the glutes firing, scaps together, and notice that the head is not flexed. extending back. Always keeping the head in line with the spine. Good. We're gonna finish off with just some light piles. Okay, we're just gonna get into that single leg stance. It's gonna fly you up, alternate legs. You're gonna sit down, hold it for three seconds, drive up and land into the other foot. As you get better at this, you can go higher and higher. We're keeping out a nice control posture right here. So it's really to drive out of the floor, think you're pushing through that pedal, and absorbing into the other side. So guys, remember the most important thing, flexibility and mobility. We want to keep you guys injury free throughout the season. This is simple, it's something you can do in 15, 20 minutes, so it doesn't take away from the volume that you're doing on the bikes. All right guys, stay healthy, have a great season.